We're in Vancouver. We made it. First stop is Japa Dog. I've never had it. Valentine's always raving about it. Uh, which is perfect because I am fucking hungry. Here we go. Japa dog. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was so good. It's got seaweed on it. It exploded on me, but it's super good. <laughs> I haven't had Japa Dog in 10 years. Actually, I was thinking about it on the way up. And they don't make the one my favorite anymore. That's okay. I think this is a close, close second. Japa dog was amazing. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about a uh, hot dog with, you know, seaweed on it. And what, what was the sauce that was on it? It's like a karaage sauce. It was like normally like over like a chicken or pork. Yeah, I don't know. It was like some sort of sweet It's kind of like a sweet sauce. barbecue sauce. Like, yeah, sweet barbecue, but um, <laughs> damn, that was fucking good. We're headed to Chinatown. Hopefully we don't get the coronavirus. Everyone down here in, where are we? Are we in Yorktown yet? I don't know where we are. <laughs> I think we're just downtown. We're on Seymour, so it's not really. Um, yeah, everyone down here is wearing masks, so let's go check out Chinatown. What does Adrian say? Can't catch the coronavirus. It's Modelo time. Just hit Chinatown, and I'm trying to find like the back alley where we can buy like a gremlin or something. What are they called in the movie? What's it called? A mogwai? I need where I can find. Gremlins? Yeah. Oh. Like I'm trying to find where I can buy a gremlin in Chinatown. I want to see like some ducks and rabbits hanging in windows. I'm trying to see all that weird shit while we're here. I try not to sound negative in these vlogs. Might be hard sometimes. Like just now we went one block outside of Chinatown onto East Hastings. And oh my God, I thought Bellingham was bad with like bums and stuff. We didn't see any chickens, we saw a lot of heroin. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> run into any chickens or ducks or rabbits hanging in windows, but we sure ran into a lot of like fucking junkies littered all over the sidewalk instantly just smelled like piss ladies were like walking by holding their kids like oh my god it was it was pretty but it was pretty bad well i found gizmo but it wasn't in an alleyway valentine was not having it but at that market i bought something it's a dried gecko and they make them in tea and I was like dude I'm just gonna hang this on my wall that looks cool as hell so now I have this little crucified gecko hanging up in my living room look at it pretty proud of myself 
I haggled for the first time in Chinatown. Usually when somebody's asking for like, even if I'm buying something on Craigslist, whatever, whatever they ask for, I'll just give it to them. But I haggled this lady for some dead seahorses. Yeah, but here's the kicker. But here's the kicker, right. <laughs> so the kicker is. He haggled. I haggled. But he haggled for the exact price that he would have paid an American. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> The price that I ended up paying in USD was actually the same price as what she was asking for in Canadian. But I still fucking haggled. I saved, no, I did save 10 bucks. It's getting dark in Chinatown. Time to start heading to the hotel because the weirdos are coming out now that the sun's going down, that's for sure. It's been a little bit of a difference in the last half an hour. Valentine's laughing at me because we got to the parking garage and I had to find the perfect spot, so I ended up parking in like, I don't know, a couple different spots until I found the right one, but hey, I just want my car to be safe in another country. So the room's pretty cool and all, you know, there's a little terrace. It's very nice right now. Yeah, modern. very nice, it's new, modern. The terrace, there's a pretty cool view of downtown, but the coolest thing about this hotel room is if you are, you know, say here with a loved one, for instance, and you just really want to watch them take a shit or a shower, you're set. You know, there's just a window that goes right into the, the shower and the shitter. First thing that... Kyle's got to do when we get here is take a shit, of course. And I see this. I'm a little mortified. Didn't really know that there was going to be a close. There had to have been a blind. Like, I wasn't sure where it was at. Finally figured it out. Uh, it was a close one. <laughs> Just like always, we got sucked into the hotel room. And it's now hours later. And... I like was falling asleep through Gladiator and oh, I don't know but now we're gonna go to dinner a place called Red Rocket it's not called Red Rocket uh, what's it called it's called Red Racer he keeps Red Racer it, he's wanting to call it Red Rocket it's called Cafe Dog Dick <laughs> yum <laughs> And then when we get back, if we're not all fat and sassy, <laughs> I'm going to go swimming. <laughs> He's going to be fat and sassy and swimming. <laughs> What did I keep saying? Red Rocket, Red Racer, whatever. Um, it was good, it was super dark in there so I couldn't get any video, but it was pretty good. I had like a chorizo beef burger. Valentine had a... Like, a fancy mushroom pizza. Like, like goat cheese on it and stuff. It was good, I got some pictures. Um, yeah, it was good, but right now, we had a lazy morning. I watched Roadhouse from the shower because it has that big glass cut out. So I laid on the ground, watched Roadhouse, and uh, now we're gonna go check out Granville Island, go eat some honey, what are they, honey donuts? I don't know, I think they're just regular donuts. They're, they have honey on top, I'm pretty sure. That's what it was in the show. But yeah, we're gonna go check out Granville Island before we hit um, Stanley Park and go to the zoo. Yay. <laughs> we're here at Sun Tzu Hua, where we're gonna get some dim sum, which I've never had before. Um, Valentine's had it a bunch, but I've never had it. I don't even know what the hell it is. And I might possibly try some chicken feet. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that yet, but. I'm so excited. I grew up eating dim sum, and this place looks great, so I'm stoked. Lots of food.
try to eat a chicken foot. I've never had a chicken foot or anything like I've had chicken gizzards, but never like a foot. So. Bony. <laughs> Actually has these kind of little bones inside that I kind of want to keep. <laughs> they look like cool little bones, but it's good. It tastes good, better than I thought. Let me just slurp this chicken foot. We just ate at the dim sum place, and I had my chicken feet. And they were surprisingly good. A little bit like, uh, not chewy, but like, I don't know. They were different, that's for sure. I wish I could take a nap right now. I'm pretty tired after eating all that food. Um, but now we're gonna hit the aquarium. And we actually skipped Granville Island earlier, so we're gonna go now. And then I gotta start making my way back home. But for now, we're gonna go to the aquarium. Well, we're skipping the aquarium. There's just not enough time to do it today. I'd rather go when we have the time and don't have to rush through and stuff. Island was a success, but I am cold and ready to go back home. So I think we're gonna start heading back to uh, to Bellingham, and then I'm gonna try to get some rest. And then I've got band practice tonight. So see you later, Canada. That was a good trip. I'm gonna give you my present now. Okay. Okay. And of course, I know you always wrap your stuff in. Oh yeah, that's upside down. Beautiful. You always wrap everything in. Cascadia Weekly newspaper <laughs> ad. Yeah. I. Sorry, this is not wrapped, and I'm sorry it's not. This is a Kyle wrap job here. It's a Kyle wrap job. I didn't have a lot of time. My turtle dumb. It says us with two old people. One, the old guy riding a motorcycle and the old lady in the sidecar. Let's see it. Yeah, it's pretty much us. Are you recording? I am. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> There's the red flashing <laughs> circle in the corner. Yes. Because you don't have to hold your finger on the button. It might just resting here to keep steady. <laughs> you recording? Yes. The Best Coast, a road trip atlas, illustrated adventures along the West Coast historic highways. That is sweet. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. How 
How's your card? The card is good. Now I have a feeling that we have a lot of driving coming our way.